previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when... You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You still here, man, man? Jeez. I like that little emote. In association with Skybound Entertainment. <laughs> this episode's so much better than the first one, dude. It's like day and night difference in terms of quality. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all <laughs> hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. That would be nice. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh... Maybe he'll be better off without us. And we'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer You gave time. your opinion about one Kenny, damn. Other, it's a bad situation. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's an old racist asshole. Uh... He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> Can't even hit dude with an axe. Uh, it's a long shot. I'd hate not to really long. Bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Dumb fuck. Ah! Shit. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on.
Oh shit, here we go. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, He's our teacher. maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided to camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Kinda looks like that dude from Stranger Things. Up. Gotta help. Steve. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces, I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care, please. Uh. This isn't our problem, we should go. No, no, please! At least just look at the trap! Just look at it, and maybe you can tell us how to get it off! Please help me! <laughs> hurry, please, hurry! Ah, oh, damn. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. There's your answer, my man. Oh, no. Oh, you mean Steve, the, the Hare Harrington? Yeah, he looks like Steve Harrington. Now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Please! Lee, do something! This is bad. Oh, this is no, so no, no, bad. stop! <clears throat> Fuck! Try to cut the chain! Oh god. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Let's go, Anything, let's go! Please! Hmm. Lee, it has to be now. Ah! Oh. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Ah! Still have time for that. I'm sorry, but we Fuck. have to go now. Ah! Ah! Oh, goddamn. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Actually... I kind of want to replay that. I kind of want to redo that. Oh man. Uh. Wonder if it'll let me. So if I play from right here. Hold on. Rewind. All right, but where is where is this at? Is this just here? Hurry, please, hurry! Okay. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. I'm gonna do everything but cut his leg off. <laughs> Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Come on, do something! Oh, no, 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 stop! This is bad. Fuck. Lee, do something! Please! Get me out of this! Take fucking forever. Out of this. Try to cut the chain! Lee, are you nuts? <laughs> Hurry! Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, Please do something else! Him. This can't be happening. This is never gonna oh. work, but. Try let's something. go, let's go! Why is this happening to us? Somebody's gonna keep chopping too. Please, we can't leave him like this. There's okay. gotta be another one. Like like that at the Air Force Base to lift orders. He's lost so much blood already. Down. Please hurry up. Lee, it has to be now. I want my leg. I want my leg. Why would somebody do this? Do you think you can damn get it? Lee, just cut off his fucking ah, leg. Ah, oh, God God damn it! I'm sorry, oh, but we die. have to go now. 
please, please, please. Fuck, so I'm much just blood. wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, no, no, no. Stop. <sighs> Fuck. Oh man, oh man. Man, this takes forever. Oh, no, no, no. Please hurry. <sighs> Fuck. How long will it there's let this go be on? We can do. Calm down, kid. We'll get him out of this. Okay, is please. He, is he gonna make get it? Get me out of this. Dude, they, dude, they give you we'll an infinite amount of time, but I'm pretty we'll sure, to. like, you can just leave bad. this guy. Really bad. Oh, Jesus, these things are gonna be here soon. All that blood and screaming? We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Come on. We gotta go. Now. You weren't able to free David. Oh, fuck. No. Uh, no, don't leave me. Damn it, Lee. I'm sorry. No! <laughs> we can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Give it to God me! Damn it, like Travis! Oh! <laughs> Shit! What happened? You actually have to try not to free him, yeah. He went for the gun! Oh, God. Yeah, you can't just decide not to save them. But this is the worst outcome, so. Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Bam. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come That's on! That's the fucking Gmod drop gun sound. What oh, happened? Oh, God. What's going on? Hey, so I don't have time to explain. Hey. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, uh, I, I don't know. Lee. CS sound. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? I am. Uh, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Welcome come to the family, here. kid. I drew. Crack. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. 
End of story. Look, once Katcha patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. <laughs> That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Lynn. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Uh-huh. <laughs> How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Ugh. Sorry, honey, I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hmm, hey, what do Clem, we give you? You need something to eat. Apple, cheese and crackers, piece of jerky. I don't know if she'd like the jerky. That's the most fulfilling though. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we didn't get some food? Look, uh, there are there are three pieces of food left. <laughs> Shit. Um. Ale. Three pieces of food left. So I could give one. Huh. You give one to Doc. Hey Doc, how about a little food? Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> God damn, I'm trying to think of the worst like things I could do here. Um We'll give one to her. Want Maybe something see. to eat? I'll give you I'll give you an, an apple. apple God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Okay. So far, I'm being selfish with my picks. I gave them two food. What else? Um, no, not you. Not you. Give Kenny some food. Want something to eat? Back oh, hold on. Hey, Doc. 
How about a little food? I remember he won't accept food without Duck getting food first, so. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Save the last piece of food for someone else. Keep the last piece of food for yourself. There we go. You keep my strength up, too. Chose to keep food for yourself. That's the most asshole I could do. Not such an easy job, is it? I think it can any shit. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're Truth. out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Words getting out that you want to. What the hell does he have in his hand? That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Oh. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Mm. Leaving would be an asshole thing to do, so I'll do that. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> um. I'm sorry, Larry. There's nothing left. Go piss up a flagpole, Lee. <laughs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. Has a heart condition too. Are different. Being a racist is outdated. Damn! And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Mark's a snitch.
<clears throat> Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? Hard snitch he mode. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried, <laughs> but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ah, oh, goddamn motherfucker. The axe, hurry! Yeah, right. Steve, no! Move, move! Oh, shit, it's stuck! Dumbass. Oh. oh, yeah. Put the fingers in his eyeball. Shoot it! You okay? One hell of an yeah. exit wound. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Ooh, with the Wait, sick bars. You all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. lying it's true i swear it maybe he's right i didn't see any bites it would explain why there's so many of them jesus christ if you just die and that's all it takes and shit one fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers when i first saw it mm -hmm. happen we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe but one of the girls jenny pitcher i think I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. <clears throat> Motherfuckers. Uh, you're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine, uh, but, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a oh, few shit. miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Some ugly motherfuckers. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Hmm. Nah. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. <laughs> we need to think like a group. <coughs> this affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? Well, fuck. Looks you like I'm outnumbered. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Clementine, 
What do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. All right. Looks like we're going to a dairy. <laughs>